Greetings gentlemen and ladies. Uh, in today's video we're going to look at casting 2. This is confusing always. Um, so here's the thing. Normally this is the main problem. Mo main super duper confusing problem. What do you put in the object? Sometimes you can put like your player pawn or whatever. What happens when that doesn't work? Um, why does this even work in the first place? I don't know. Sometimes it does. <laughs> All right, here's how to make this work. So in this case I want to cast from my uh, my player pawn, which is this vehicle here, over to this blue this actor blueprint over here, which is just like a thruster engine. Uh, basically, just want to be able to activate it. Um, so here's how we do this. Uh, in our Kai you no know, buggy blueprint, we've got our cast to. But what we are going to need is uh, an object type to cast to. So in order to do that, since we are casting to our our, our engine because I want to be able to call this custom event in my engine from my from my buggy pawn I just want to be able to trigger that activate event so in order to do that of course we have to cast to uh, cast to activate right all that sort of stuff that's that's all fine that's all easy the prior part is what the question is what do you put in the object part right okay so what we put in the object part first is we look at the blueprint that we're casting to and we look at the um, class settings and we look at the parent class of the of the uh, of the um, of the blueprint that we're casting to. In this case, it's an actor. So what we need to do is in our our blueprint which we are casting from casting from is we go and we add a new variable, uh, and this will be uh, let's say let's call it the actor reference. Uh, and what we can do here is we can just put that in get actor reference. Uh, sorry, uh, one one other thing, one other thing, I, which I actually didn't cover. Um, we need to change the type, which we need to change this type to an actor reference. So we look for actor, we scroll down to actor, and we look for actor object reference is what we need. Uh, mine already was one because that was the last variable I set. But but you need to set that to an object actor object reference. And when we do that. We can plug that in, and it will say it's okay, but it's not okay yet. It, it, it will fail if we try it like this, because we haven't set up what that reference is. Uh, so what we have to do now is basically make sure we compile that, and uh, in our level, we want to find that the object that we're casting to, and in this case, it's this thruster engine right here. So we know this thruster engine is called thruster1 blueprint. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at our the details of our, uh, our of our buggy blueprint, which is this, uh, which is casting to, um, or sorry, casting from, casting from, casting to, I don't know, whatever. It, it, basically, what we need to do is we need to look for that actor reference. Actually, one other thing that we have to do. Sorry, one other thing we have to go into our actor reference here, and we have to make this. Um, public, uh, or exposed rather, not public, but exposed. And then when we do that, we compile again, and we go back here, and and in our um, outliner we find our buggy blueprint, right? So there's our buggy blueprint, there's our our thruster blueprint. But we go into our buggy blueprint, and we look for that actor reference, and then we look for our um, there's there's our th there's our thruster blueprint right there. So that's this guy right here. I think we can even dabble him. We pick him like that, thruster blueprint. So now we actually have the whole thing set up. Now, um, when we cast from our buggy blueprint, it will know that this actor reference is the uh, thruster blueprint, which we're trying to cast to so that we can trigger some of this stuff or get a variable or whatever it is that you want to cast to for. Um, and that should do the trick. Let's Let's try that out. Don't 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 don't. All right, jump into the game. So, <laughs> oh no, oh no, uh, I forgot that I left the auto activate on my thruster. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> auto. Oh no, it's not auto activated. It's uh, oh yeah, event begin play. There we go. So basically, my whole thing is that I wanted to. Uh, it is not quite working yet. But I want to be able to jump into the buggy. Now from this buggy, we have this um, 
guy here, which we've attached to the buggy. And now when I press my spacebar, I want to take, trigger that activate event with a cast two. And as you can see, it does activate. I have some attachment issues that are unrelated to uh, cast two and stuff. I'm sure that'll be fine. Uh, no, okay, well, that's it.